Be the first to know. The news live at the site of the event. Information on events as they are happening. If it's breaking news, it's Nile TV. Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome to our special coverage for the latest, uh, the latest uh, development on the ground in the Gaza Strip. The health ministry in the Gaza Strip said uh, on Monday that the 50 marchers were killed overnight in the Israeli occupation airstrikes on two family houses in the northern of Jabalia town. In a brief statement, the ministry said with the massacre, at least 110 Palestinians had been killed since the previous day in the Israeli strikes in the area. Israeli forces launched fresh attacks by air, land and sea throughout the night across the Gaza Strip. An Israeli tank shell hit the maternity building inside the Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunis, killing a 13-year-old girl. Around 19,000 Palestinians have been killed and 52 others were wounded, according to the Gaza health officials, since Israel began its war against the Palestinians on the 7th of October. To shed more light on the issue, I are very much delighted to be joined over the phone by Ambassador Mithat Al-Miligi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Ambassador Miligi, good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon to you. Uh, sir, after um, all uh, this uh, time uh, with uh, no capability to stop the war on uh, the Gaza Strip, how do you see the situation on the ground, sir? Well, the, the situation is, is, is very critical. Uh, the escalation uh, doesn't stop at all. Mm. And uh, it's quite obvious that the, the, the institutions who can pressure Israel mm. to uh, leave the international law and the humanitarian international are inefficient mm. in all the countries that are presumably in favor of the two-state solution, in favor of a Palestinian uh, ceasefire, Palestinian yes. Israeli ceasefire. All these countries are just giving a lip service that is not that is not actually up to the expectations of the world. Yes. It's just, as I said, a lip service. But when it comes to the real responsibility and pressure Israel, we do not see this translated on the ground. And accordingly, Israel keeps doing what it's doing best, which is massacring the Palestinians ever since the 7th of October until today. Mm. The massacre continues, which means that there is no real pressure on Israel. It's quite obvious. And although all the goodwill and the intentions of uh, countries such as Egypt and other countries who are in favor of a ceasefire and resuming the peace talks, although all the good intentions, but the power of Israel is insufficient mm. because the only power that Israel understands is the, the language of uh, a certain threat. And the United States and the Western bloc is not really giving Israel any momentum to what he's doing. I mean, we, we listen to them saying that the, the massacre has to stop and Israel has to respect the international humanitarian law. But mm. when Israel doesn't respect that, there is no second step. There is no plan B. There is no escalation from these powers to force Israel to submit. Yes. Yes. So accordingly, Israel will keep doing it until there is a real pressure from these forces to, mm. when, when, when there is a threat to diplomatic relations, for instance, rupture, or that mm. they can have any more weapons or anything of the sort. I think that's when Israel will start listening. And until we see that, yes. we will just see an escalation in wording from the Western Hemisphere, and that's it, nothing more than that. Yes, indeed. Uh, Ambassador uh, Miligi, how do you evaluate the Egyptian efforts so far in order to try to contain the situation in the uh, ceasefire, which um, did last for a while, and the exchange of uh, uh, prisoners uh, and uh, the hostages, as well as the efforts to um, try to reduce the humanitarian catastrophe by entering the aid to the Gaza Strip? How do you see the efforts of Egypt so far and the diplomatic efforts in order to find a solution for the uh, war uh, on well, the Gaza Strip? Egypt is doing its utmost, the maximum yes. it could, to make Israel understand that it's, it, it can continue the massacres without even humanitarian mm -hmm. aid for those who are mm -hmm. still cornered in uh, the Gaza Strip, mm -hmm. north or south. And the idea of, um, the idea of 
uh, displacing the two million Palestinian in Gaza Strip will never work. Yes. And accordingly, uh, we manage from time to time with a lot of pressure to have you convoys enter with humanitarian aid. But of course, this is totally unsufficient <clears throat> of the people. Don't forget that everything has been totally destructed. We have reports that are claiming that almost 60 percent of the homes and the hospitals are destructed in Gaza Strip. They cannot be lived yes. in anymore. And accordingly, I mean, the, the whole scheme seemed like total um, displacement, for yes. displacement of Palestinians. Yes, but indeed, to, uh, Ambassador Mithat El Miligi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, thank you so much, uh, sir, for your precious input, our dear viewers. And now we'll go to a short break. Be the first to know. The news live at the site of the event. Information 